With his new showbiz tell-all, director Ed Zwick has been causing a stir in Hollywood. In a recent interview, he further stepped on some toes by discussing the book and even revealing personal information about Matthew Broderick's mother. In It's, Flops, and Other Illusions, My 40-something Years in Hollywood, Zwick shares stories of her time spent away from school about a variety of stars, including Tom Cruise, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Anne Hathaway, Denzel Washington, Julia Roberts, and more. Zwick disclosed certain details he had left on the editing room floor during an interview with Janice Men of the Ankler in Los Angeles. Zwick interjected to clarify that. When Min brought up a passage in Zwick's book where Matthew Broderick's mother described his screenplay for his 1989 Civil War picture, Glory, as Limp as a penis, Zwick actually said, Limp as a pink penis. I had assumed that I would be tactful and omit that passage. The director, who co-created TV's 30-something and produced the Oscar-winning Shakespeare in Love, also disclosed that he overlooked another Oscar-winning classic, Forrest Gump because he just didn't get it. I recall watching Forrest Gump regarding the 1994 Tom Hanks film. I didn't get it, he remarked. It's true that Eric Roth, whose most recent credits include Dune and Killers of the Flower Moon, is an incredibly talented writer, but I recall thinking, what? He appears, and then appears again. But where is the dramatic arc? I mean, I've committed such foolish errors. Zwick and Min's conversation took place at Zibby's bookshop, the Santa Monica boutique run by Zibby Owens, the daughter of NYC billionaire Steve Schwartzman, in front of a throng that included Aaron Brockovich, producer Michael Schamberg. Celebrity patrons of the store include Jennifer Garner, Reese Witherspoon, Larry David, and others. Zwick expressed his lack of optimism to Min over the state of the Hollywood studios, which are currently in turmoil due to the sale of Paramount and the financial difficulties faced by Warner Brothers Discovery and Disney. It's not going to vanish, really. All you can hope is that it stays operatic, a kind of upscale, pricey experience. Sort of simply a nicety, you know. Zwick has revealed in his book that Julia Roberts quit the 1998 film, Shakespeare in Love, before Gwyneth Paltrow replaced her. In a recent post for Air Mail, he said that Robert's lack of chemistry with any potential male co-stars was not the script's fault and stated it was Julia. It was evident from the outset that she hadn't been practicing her accent. In addition, he describes how Harvey Weinstein intimidated him regarding the movie when they subsequently disagreed over the credits. Zwick claims that Weinstein once threatened to kill him and his family, calling him a little FK. Weinstein is currently, of course serving an unrelated jail sentence. Zwick writes in his book, among other depressing insights, that Pitt seems easygoing at first, but he can be volatile when riled. On the Legends of the Fall set, the two got into enormous disputes, and Zwick wrote in his book about the actor, I don't know who threw the first chair, who yelled first, or who swore. Maybe me? However, the crew was nowhere to be seen when we looked up. Despite saying that it was all done for the benefit of the movie and praising Pitt as a performer, Page Six was previously informed by a source close to Pitt that Zwick is an a hole. The source also said that in the same movie, Anthony Hopkins, Pitt's father, got so sick of Zwick that he just got in his car and drove to the airport. During Zwick's discussion in Los Angeles, we learned that Amy Poehler, a former cast member of SNL, was seen peeping through the entrance and questioning a staff member what was going on and why the event was so crowded. Perhaps Zwick ought to have protected her ears with his candid remarks regarding performers.